sometimes people can do it with food alone. So if you don't have a really sort of nasty chronic infection, just simply changing your diet could be enough to reshape your benefit, your your microbiome so that, you know, maybe the pathogen still might be there, but they're in low enough levels that they're not causing issues anymore. So eating like healthy whole foods, lots of prebiotics, fermented foods, um, supporting the gut lining too, because that's part of the immune system that keeps all the pathogens in check. Things like um, bone broth, uh, beef collagen is really nice for that too. Um, then if you need, so for me, I was like chronic. I'd done a good, like I had overhauled my nutrition for a good three years yet still, and things got better definitely, but there were still underlying things that were causing a lot of issues. And when I did the stool test, it was obvious that all those bugs were still causing issues. Um, so like for SIBO, for example, um, I did an elemental diet, which is a liquid diet for two weeks, supposed to be 14 days. I lasted 12. A lot of my clients are so much better and they do the full 14 weeks, but it's really hard because you're just drinking like a medical formulated um, drink that has all the nutrients so that you still stay alive and, you know, you have all the nutrients and the macronutrients to function, but you're not, but you're starving the bacteria in your small intestine. And so then those levels will drop down. uh, They die off. They end back, end up back in your large intestine where it should be. Um, Things like bacteria or parasites, often there's like herbal protocols that you can use to kill those off. Um, also candida, there's different types of fatty acids. So undersilinic acid, it's actually a really good and even like something like B propolis is really uh, helpful to control those candida levels. And then always, it's not just about kill, 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 reduce, reduce. You then have to restore the beneficial microbiome so you don't keep having issues long term so that your body, once you stop taking things, your body can um, thrive and survive. Um, so thrive, I should say thrive and not be susceptible to um, catching or developing infections later on down the track. <laughs>